a proof of this version of L'Hopital's rule for on, on unbounded intervals is rather easy. So what we need to check is whether the limit of x to infinity of fx divided by g of x equals the limit of x to infinity of f prime x divided by the derivative of g in x. Well, we're going to exploit the following idea. We're going to make a substitution. So the idea is to take t equals 1 over x. So if x tends to infinity, then t tends to 0 plus. Yeah, 0 plus. And now we're going to substitute in the limit for x to infinity fx divided by g of x now is the same as the limit for t to, in, to 0 plus. And now we're going to write x equals to 1 over t. So that this makes f1 over t divided by g of 1 over t. Notice that now we're in a former version of L'Hopital's rule where we take a limit to a fixed point at the boundary of an interval. So we get as a limit the limit of t to 0 plus and we take a derivative with respect to this function in t. And uh, we now have a composite function so we take the derivative minus 1 over t squared as a derivative of 1 over t times the derivative of f in 1 over t. And the same we're going to do in the denominator and we see that twice we get a term minus 1 over t squared, and they cancel. So we're left with the limit of t to 0 plus of f prime evaluated in 1 over t divided by g prime evaluated in 1 over t. And now we're going to substitute t back. So we're going to substitute x for 1 over t, and we get the limit of x to infinity of f prime x divided by g prime x. And that's the proof. So here's an example just to make sure that you're a little bit careful and uh, that you don't get an, a L'Hopital junkie in the sense that you're going to apply L'Hopital whenever you seem fit without looking further and deeper and checking for conditions. So here we have the limit of x to infinity of 2x minus sine of x uh, divided by 2x plus cosine of x and we divide numerator and denominator by x. So we get the following. We get the limit of x to infinity of 2 minus sine of x divided by x divided by 2 plus the cosine or divided by x. Yeah, the sine and cosine are bounded functions bounded by minus 1 and 1. So um, we see that sine of x divided by x goes to 0, and the same holds for cosine divided by x. So as a limit, we obtain 2 over 2, which equals 1. Now, consider what would happen if we follow L'Hopital's rule blind. What's going to happen? Yeah, blind application of L'Hopital's rule would mean here that we just take a derivative on numerator denominator and calculate the limit as the fractions of of those so what happens if we take a limit of x to infinity of 2x minus the sine of x divided by 2x plus the cosine of x this one equals the limit of x to infinity of 2 minus the cosine of x, which is the cosine of x is the derivative of the sine of x. And uh, 2 of x plus the cosine of x has as a derivative 2 minus the sine of x. Yeah, but this is a problematic term as it does not converge. Yeah, it's a periodic function. So what happens? Well, we can use L'Hopital's rule in the sense that L'Hopital's rule says we only can calculate limits if those limits exist. But here we have a periodic function with no limit. So we cannot use L'Hopital to find the final answer. But we may certainly not conclude that the limit does not exist. It's not an appropriate tool here. 
Well, things can go wrong also in another way. So another warning in applying L'Hopital's rule is the following. So focus on the limit of x to infinity of x minus the sine of x divided by x plus the cosine of x. Well, this limit equals 1. Well, we can, like before, we can divide nominator, the numerator and denominator by x, and then we find 1 as, since the limit of x to infinity of sine of x divided by x equals the limit of x to infinity of the cosine of x divided by x equals 0, and we end up with 1. Well, this can also be seen a little bit differently using the the hamburger theorem or the squeeze theorem. So we're going to pack this term x minus sine of x divided by x cosine of x in between two terms which are converging to 1. So x minus the sine of x divided by x plus cosine of x. Yeah, we're going to increase the numerator which is maximally x plus 1 and the denominator is minimally x minus 1. So x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 is actually larger than the term we'd like to get the limit of. And on the other side, side we make the numerator smaller and the denominator larger. And we see that on both sides, if we take limits, we get a 1. So the term in the middle should converge to 1 as well. And so here is two ways in which you could derive the right limit of the expression x minus sine of x divided by x plus cosine of x. We have a little bit short-sighted and apply L'Hopital without any thought, then giving any thought, then we would get the limit of x to infinity of x minus sine of x divided by x plus cosine of x by taking derivative in numerator and denominator. So we would get the limit of x to infinity of 1 minus the cosine of x divided by 1 minus the sine of x. And uh, this limit does not exist, right? Since what happens, the sine of x is equal to 1 infinitely many times. Yeah, for x equal a half pi plus k times 2 pi, we get that the sine of x equals 1. So we have a problem in the denominator. So we cannot calculate the limit. But it actually exists.